So here we are. As promised, uh, I said that we're going to learn how to distinguish between reflection and rotation. Okay, so let me tell you, A is the object over here, okay, and uh, one of the two triangles, one of the two remaining triangles is the reflection of A, okay, and the other is a rotation, okay. So what we want to do is we want to distinguish between uh, which one's reflection and which one is rotation. So let's start with A and B. When I join the corresponding points of A and B, meaning when I join the point or the object with its respective uh, image, let's see what all the lines look like. So you can see that all the lines are parallel, okay? So whenever that's the case, whenever all the line happens, all the lines happen to be parallel, it's definitely reflection, okay? So let's write that down over here, that you join A and A prime, okay? And then you join B and B prime, okay? And let's write C and C prime, although by the time you do the two, you join the two, uh, points, uh, objects with its respective images, you will have an idea, but just for the sake of uh, going with the flow, let's say you join CNC prime. If lines are parallel, it's a reflection. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Uh, that means like we join the points, lines happen to be parallel, that means it's a reflection. Now, what happens in the case of rotation? Let's see. So in the case of rotation, if I join, th obviously this point uh, is the image, okay? And the image of this has to be this one, okay? Yep, it's gotta be. And the image of this point has to be this one. Now what happens over here is that the lines are not parallel. Okay, they're clearly not parallel. It's not like you're gonna have to use a protractor to see whether they are or they aren't. They're clearly not parallel. So what does that mean? That means that this is a rotation. Now. Where these lines meet doesn't really have any significance, okay? Uh, that is when it's a 180 degree rotation. That is when the lines meet. Where the lines meet is the center of rotation. Here, since it's a 90 degree rotation, how do I know that? The horizontal line has turned vertical. So they, these lines in itself don't really have a significance or the meeting point doesn't don't really have a significance. They're only there to help us distinguish between reflection and rotation. So what do we do over here? We did the exact same thing. We joined A and A prime, B and B prime, and C and C prime. Okay, so the lines weren't parallel. Okay, that means it's a rotation. So let's turn this blue since that's the color that I've used. If lines are not parallel, oops, if lines are not parallel, it's a rotation. So there you go. This is how you distinguish between reflection and rotation. And you don't really have to um, phys physically draw the lines. You can just sort of put your scale and get an idea if the two lines are parallel. But if you have any doubt, it's best to play it safe and actually draw the lines and then see. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you've understood this concept. And I'll see you guys in the next video in which we will start with translation. Yeah, we'll start with translation. So yeah, see you guys then. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.